Hi, Andrew here. A company called ShotStop sent me their level 3A backpack panel. It's intended to be used inside of a backpack or a briefcase or something like that. And without getting too political, um, I do want to point out that workplace shootings and school shootings and whatnot are extremely rare, despite the attention that they've gotten recently in, in media. That said, if you're interested in firearms, there's a good chance that you're also interested in being prepared for low order of probability events that could harm you, such as a fire or a vehicle collision. And that's why you have smoke detectors and a fire extinguisher and you wear a seatbelt. If you carry a gun, maybe it's not also a bad idea to have some armor handy. So I don't want this to be some sort of sensationalist thing where everybody's got to run out and get armor, but it is a product that is available and we will do some testing on it. This particular panel is very lightweight, it's very thin, it's rigid, entirely rigid, and it doesn't really look like armor. So if you were to insert it in your kid's backpack and send them off to school with it, it's not likely to attract a lot of attention. Let's get out to the range and let's hit it with some stuff that is not really designed to stop. Um, let's start with some 10 millimeter, a couple of 180 grain full metal jacket. Next up is going to be Lehigh's 10 millimeter extreme defense loaded by Ventura. Okay. Well, we've seen that before. We've seen that <laughs> extreme defender punch right through pistol rated armor before but it stopped both of the 180 grain rounds <laughs> all right it didn't really stand much of a chance against that i want to point out that this panel is not rated for it's not designed to stop 10 millimeter extreme defense and this load often normally perforates level 3 a pistol rated armor so while it did get through we shouldn't hold that against the product too much because it's not supposed to stop that. However, I wanted to see what would happen if we shot some things that it's not rated for against it while it was inside of a bag. So let's say this was in a laptop bag and you shot through a laptop. Obviously through the laptop, I intentionally avoided the hard drive, but it did stop it. Outstanding. All right, so of course in this case, where the bullet actually has to get through a little bit of material before it encounters the armor, stopped it cold easily enough. Let's take it up another notch and hit it with another round that it is absolutely not supposed to stop. We're going to hit it with 55 grain full metal jacket from an AR-15. Obviously. Pistol rated armor is not intended to stop rifle rounds, but what happens if you shoot through a laptop and pistol rated armor? <laughs> well, maybe that was too much to ask for. <laughs> Looks like, yeah, came right through. How bad would it be though? Well, I suppose it's not terrible. Look at that. Okay, so that shouldn't be too surprising. Uh, it did punch right through the laptop and through the armor. But what is a little interesting is that it only got about four inches into the gel. So I would never tell you that you're going to be perfectly safe behind a laptop and a piece of pistol rated armor. Uh, that said... In this very specific instance, 
that combination did seem to reduce the velocity and the energy of that bullet to the point that it's unlikely to cause a lethal wound. Remember that four inches is just a little over what the calibration BB is supposed to do in ballistic gel. It's not that bad. Honestly, if you added the backpack material and some clothing and God forbid, even a bone, it's unlikely that this wound would be fatal. Of course it would hurt, <laughs> but you'd probably live. Like I said, you can't take that to mean that this is going to work that way in every case, but it is somewhat illuminating. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And more importantly, I'd like to hear the other stuff that you want to see me test this panel with next. So if you have some thoughts on what you'd like to see us test next, leave a comment below. As always, like and share and subscribe. That helps YouTube understand the sort of things that you want to watch. And of course, if you have the time, head on over to Ventura Munitions website, take a look at what they have in stock, come back here, and tell us what you'd like to see us test next. Have a great day.